So about two and a half years ago, I came down with um, a very severe headache and it didn't feel like a headache that I'd ever experienced before. It felt very metallic and um, almost like electricity in my head. And um, then I started to also notice that over time I started to develop heart palpitations and chest pain and that continued to worsen to full body shivers. It was just like electricity was going through my whole system. And then that developed into moments where when I was lying down, I would feel like I was fainting. I just kept feeling like these rushes of electricity going through my head. And even though I was lying down and I couldn't get my head any lower, I kept thinking I was going to faint. So when I first developed the symptoms, I was taken into hospital, into emergency, and I was seen by the emergency physician. And then I was seen by a neurosurgeon um, because they thought that there was a brain bleed. Um, and from there, they put me through two CT scans and um, a lumbar, two lumbar punctures. Um, then they discharged me, and then they called me back the next day saying that I needed to come back in, that they were still really concerned. And then they had a, they put me on isolation thinking that Maybe I had meningitis now. Um, and then I was seen by a neurologist as well. And then they came to the conclusion that they didn't know what was wrong with me. So they sent me home and said, you know, it'll probably just be a passing thing and it will get better. So I went, I was in Vancouver at the time. I went back home to Nelson and I uh, spent the next two and a half months in bed and the symptoms progressively got worse. Um, I ended up back in hospital again, and the more I was in hospital, the worse the conditions became to the point that I thought I was having a heart attack, and all my vital signs would elevate and escalate and go crazy out of nowhere. It was almost like I was going through a stress response, but we couldn't find any external stress that was going on, like we didn't know what was happening. So once I got home, um, I have family that's in the medical profession and they suggested very strongly that I needed to check into this whole electromagnetic field and having been a nurse I was very skeptical I didn't I didn't really understand where why they were encouraging me to get rid of our portable phones our cell phones our wireless um, put a guard over our utility meter on the outside of the house and just take those precautions and um, it was actually remarkable when I did make those changes, or actually our family made those changes, because um, I was pretty sick at the time. Um, I definitely started to get better, but there was still something in me that was fighting to stay there, and I couldn't get that residual feeling of wellness again. I couldn't go to the local theater in town, as there was a big cell antenna on the building next door, um, on the roof of it. and. I'd be there for five minutes and instantly my heart is palpitating so badly I think it's gonna, I'm, I literally thought I was having a heart attack. And then after I had exposure, I would be fully in bed for two days after and I would go into, I'm not a person to have ever really experienced depression, but I, it was really hard to feel like I was at the, I felt like I was, at the mercy of everybody else. Well, because people don't know much about it. You can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. And so I just needed to be in the company of people and they all had a cell phone on in their pockets and it would start, I would start to go and do I leave this dinner? Do I stay? What do I do? And it, it was really difficult to try um, and know how to handle those situations. So I ended up isolating myself more and more to, to just be um, removed from any situation where I would potentially feel unsafe. So it became a very limiting uh, way of living. It was from a place called smartmeterguard.com and it was in California and they distribute them all over North America. And our, he assured me that all the hydro companies were fine with them. Um, I did have them it on our utility meter and many people were interested in the area of what I was using. And um, I did have a bit of an unexpected visit by our hydro, uh, well, they actually sent the bylaw officer up and threatened me that I could be charged $10,000 if I didn't take the guard off the utility meter. So it was difficult when you're going through symptoms to have to stand up for your health, but I found the strength to do it. And 
went in and after several months of trying to get a meeting with the hydro company, I did and we had a very positive meeting and I explained to them what was going on. I reassured them that I had done my homework, that these guards do not interfere at all with the readings remotely and it doesn't change or tamper or do anything to the meter. They can still get the amount of information but there are not um, thousands and thousands of microwatts of radiation spilling out every 30 seconds. We're down below 10 now and I could live in that and it's interesting when we first put it on and made the changes I felt instantly that first night this calm. It was almost an uncomfortable calm because my body wasn't used to not vibrating at that higher frequency. I knew that there was something that was still in my body and I couldn't figure it out, but I knew, I knew. And from the moment that I got the symptoms and I even told the doctors, they were all really excited to, to find what was wrong with me. But I knew inside myself that I would find the cure and I would be the one to be healing myself. Um, so I knew I just had to wait long enough until the right, whatever it was, situation happened. And I really do believe it was a timing issue too. I needed to be ready to um, find that time to really heal. Yes, there was a little bit of trepidation, but that was not about the course and it was not about the content. And it was just about, I think, old triggers in me that were just coming, doing something that's going to be a big step. This is going to be, I knew this was going to change my life. And I do remember coming the next day when everybody, that next day when everybody started arriving, um, just knowing that we were all in the same place. Like right away it resonated that everybody was here for the same reason, whether whatever their story, whatever their journey, it didn't matter. We were all coming and meeting the truth of what we wanted to heal. And um, it was a really interesting process going through these five days and hearing everybody's experiences every day as they learnt more and more tools as to how they were going to heal. The actual real feeling for me when I really felt a change in my inside of my brain was watching this young man do these exercises and how he was struggling and struggling to try and get it right, to try and get it right and and then at one moment it's just like I could just feel his brain click and everything just started flowing with him and he got it and I felt it within my own brain. Like it was an amazing experience just to feel that transition through somebody else. Yeah, I guess it was day three we had to do it, do the exercises in front of the group. Um, and that was one of my triggers uh, to stand up and put myself in a position. Was I going to be the tough, strong, capable person that I've always been or was I going to let myself be vulnerable and really meet that inner vulnerability which I really now see as a strength in the moment and so I was halfway through the exercises and everybody was sitting around supporting me um, and I just noticed that my whole body started to shake my legs were just going my arms were going I just I thought, just keep going, just keep doing this. They obviously know what they're doing. And it, it felt like just this incredible discharge or this reorganization of energy that was, had been held inside me for so long. And I got to the final stage and ended the, the exercises that we had to do. And I went to sit down and instantly it was just like this flush of energy and flow that went through my whole body, like I of warm and all the cold that I had previously felt and the clammy was gone and I was so calm, like I just felt it throughout every cell in my body. It was an amazing experience. What I would say to somebody who has not been through this program, who is just hearing about it for the first time, um, just do it. It is worth, ev it's, it's worth everything. Because for me, it was like being freed or, and I'm not even, I'm five days into this program or four and a half days, like I've, I haven't even started, like hardly started the six month training period that we're supposed to be doing. And I just feel like it's opened up my life. It's freed me from an emotional prison or something that has um, been stuck for so long that nobody else could figure out from the outside. And, and it's so easy, it's right here. Just read Annie's book, go to the website. And if it resonates with you and the timing is right for you, make that, um, just be brave and make that decision.